Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another part of the email and phone authentication video series. And in the last video, we implemented the tab layout and we integrated the fragment to the tab layout. Now from this video, we are going to start implementing the authentication system with Firebase. So in the first video, we have connected the our project Android Studio project with the Firebase project and we also added the required dependencies and all, uh, so on. So if you happen to watch those videos, please go and watch it because all these videos are connected together. As I said, it is a series. So you won't be able to understand anything. But uh, if you want to continue from here, then uh, you need to have the source code, which I will link in the video description. So you can go and download that and uh, continue with the video. But I would not recommend that because you are not going to understand anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start implementing the email authentication as I, I said. Okay, let me close all of this first because we don't need it. Now I'm going to open the register class that we have here. Okay, so this is the not actual class. It is a fragment class. So now uh, we do have the register layout for this particular uh, fragment, right? So now what I'm going to do is the basic thing I want to do first is that extract the data, whatever the user have uh, entered here, and I'm going to validate that. That means if user have not entered any required information, then I'm going to display the error because obviously you don't want user to be able to, you know, register a new account without a full name or without a phone number or uh, without a password or so on, because you can't even uh, do that. Right. So the validation is important part here and i'm also going to uh, compare the password with the retype password so that will so that user have so that we can verify that user have entered the same password and if all the data are valid then we're going to go ahead and register the new account using the email first okay so uh, first i want to give you the a general idea of how i'm going to implement this uh, particular email and phone authentication system because uh, you know every person have different kind of idea and you can do it in different way so it doesn't have to be as exactly as the other person is doing it so you don't need to implement it in the way that i'm doing it but i like uh, you know doing things in my own way so what i'm gonna do here is first i'm going to register the user using the email address okay in the same user flow in the same action user click on register it's going to register the new user with the email and password they have given here and after that i'm going to have one more uh, activity where i will ask user to verify their phone okay because we they have already given the number here so i can take this number and uh, send the otp to that particular number and once the user verify the otp i will just link that uh, phone verified account with the email account so that they can login using either phone or the email address so it might be a little bit confusing for you right now but don't worry as we implement it in the application you'll understand clearly okay so now let's go ahead and extract the data and if you have watched my previous email authentication phone auth authentication videos then you already know how to do that so you can just skip this part and do it on your own because i want you to do it on your own in that way you can uh, understand and learn things better so yeah, if you want to do that, you go ahead and do that. But if you don't, then just follow along with me here. So each and every field here have the ID, right? So I can use this ID to get the data and validate it. So let's go to the register.java file. And first I'm going to create all the variable that we need. So those are the fields of edit text, right? So I'm going to create variable for all the fields. So full name, person email address, we have password and finally we have like country code. So these are the field we need and we also need one more button for the register. And now here inside this on create view, I'm going to link this up uh, edit text with the XML resources that we have, but we are not in the activity. We are in inside a fragment. So we can, we cannot directly use the find view ID here. So instead of using the find view ID directly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the view first uh, using this inflator. After that, we can use that particular view to reference the find view ID and we can connect the XML resources, 
right so view v and i'm just going to copy and paste this from here because we don't need that and instead of returning whole inflator thing i'm just going to return the v right now in between i can use this v to reference the find v by id okay so now to connect the xml resources i'm just going to use first uh, variable name that we have and i can use v dot find v by id just like in the activity and r dot id now i can use like a uh, register full name that is the id of our uh, edit text field for the full name and similarly for the email address v dot find v by id r dot id dot register email okay okay so let me check if this is the correct one so no that was not so let me go to the register here and check if i have the id and the phone number yes now i'm going to go back here and change it to register phone number okay I think I have misspelled it so let me go and change it okay register phone number and that is changed here okay so uh, now we have all these variables linked with the XML resources now we can go ahead and start validating the data so to validate the data what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one boolean here and which will have the valid is data valid as the name and initially it's going to be false and once all the validation is complete i'm going to change this to true and we're going to che check if data valid or not and if data is valid then we're going to let the register new user okay so here the data so to validate the data what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more field here so public void data and it's going to have it's going to take the edit text field okay and now here i'm going to check if field dot get text dot to string so i need to i'm what i'm doing here is i'm taking the data from the past i'm taking the data from whatever the edit text is uh, you know inserted through this valid data field and i'm taking the get i'm extracting the text and i'm converting that to the string now i can use is empty method so if data is empty that means our data is invalid so what i'm going to do is is data valid should be false okay and i'm going to set the error to that particular field so that user will know that he need to give the data so set error and i'm just going to say that it is a required field okay otherwise if data is not empty that means data is valid so i'm just going to uh, make this flag as true so that we can proceed ahead okay so yeah this is the valid data method that we're going to use now i'm just going to validate all the field that we have so that field are personal full name person email address person password person confirm password country code and the finally the phone number All right and now finally I, I i also want to check if the um 
you know the password are equal or not so if person pass i'm just going to get the text convert to a string and i'm going to check if equals to confirm password or not okay so if these data are not equal so i'm just going to add not here i'm just going to set is data valid equals to false okay and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, set the error to the password field confirm password field saying that password is not matched with the original password password do not match okay all right otherwise is data valid field will be true okay and now finally I'm going to check if is data valid and if that is true that means we can go ahead and proceed with the registration user all right and now to proceed to register the user we all we obviously need the instance of firebase authentication so I'm gonna create that so firebase auth okay and now i'm going to create the instance of firebase auth here so f auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance okay and now i can use this firebase auth to create the new user so here inside i can call the f auth and uh, i can use the method called create user with email and password now i need to pass the two arguments here one is username that is email and another one is password so we already have the personal email address right so i'm gonna get the email address and convert that to a string as well as i'm gonna get the password and get the text and convert to a string okay now finally we need to add the listener so that we'll be able to uh, handle the situation where we were able to create the account or the situation where we were not able to create the new account so i'm going to add the success listener and as you have as you may have guessed it's going to call it's going to get called when the account is created successfully so i'm going to create the toast and i'm going to call the get activity user account is created is the message that i want to display to the user and once the email account is created now we need to send the user to verify the phone number and for that we'll create the new activity later before that i'm gonna add the failure listener so that we can handle the situation where account is not created and we will display error to the user and uh, similarly i'm gonna create the toast called the get activity error and whatever the error message that i'm going to display to the user that may be like message could be like email is already in use like password is not valid and so on so to do i can just call the exception e variable that we have here that is passed from this uh, e and i can just call get message all right so now the next step is to create the uh, activity where we can verify the user using the otp that means we are going to call the phone verification uh, method of the firebase okay so here i'm going to create the new activity so go to activity and empty activity and this one is going to be called as verify phone number i'll just call verify phone okay click on finish and now we need to go ahead and design the layout for this and we'll do that in the next video anyway so thanks for watching this video and if you have enjoyed the series so far then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because i tend to uh, upload similar kind of videos and i have a lot of uh, you know project that is coming on in the future please subscribe you can just like this video for the sake of youtube algorithm you know it's going to help me a lot and to show your appreciation 
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next part.